Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'll be taking things apart on a 27-inch HP all one To identify the model, let's take a look at the bottom of the stand. So if you turn the computer upside down, and here at the bottom of the stand, you should be able to see the model and identify it. So here it says model 27 dash D0244. That is the model of this HP. All right, let's jump right into it. So the first thing to do is to remove the plastic cover here in the front that has the HP logo on it. So go ahead and remove that. It's very easy to remove. All you have to do is just to peel off the uh, uh, the, the cover. By doing it, if you take a look at the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen, whichever way you're looking at it, there's a little tab here. So pull the tab and then kind of pry it open with your fingers. And it's just kind of a clip on thing to the computer. So you just remove it by unclip them. Okay, at the next step, let's go ahead and remove some of the screws. So I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. There are three screws holding down the screen. The first screw is right here in the middle. So remove the screw right in the center. You're going to see there's another screw here. And the third screw is far on the left. Once you have removed all the three screws, let's put them aside. The next step is to remove and lift up the screen. So the screen goes up this direction, but before you want to lift it up, make sure you disconnect the cable. Remove the tape. This cable here, go ahead and pull it straight up. There's no there's a little bit connector right here that you can press onto it. So press that little clicker and pull it straight up. And that is for that. Okay, so the clicker is facing away from me, and at the back of it is where the metal uh, the go play that is. So to insert, to install, you have to do it this direction. The clipper is away from you. The next step is to do this uh, cable here. There's no clicker or anything. You can just lift it straight up. And just pay attention to how you lift it up. The bottom part of it is all white. And then the other front here has a little bit gold plated on it. So the gold plated here is going to face away from you. To install, you just have to do it that same direction. The next step is to remove this cable. To remove the cable, there's a little black clipper here. You need to lift the clippers up. It doesn't come off, so do not force that clip clipper to go out. It only lift up and free up that little cable. So this clipper right here doesn't come off. You just have to lift it up to free that cable. Once it's all three cables are detach go ahead and lift the screen up you're gonna hear some pressure coming from the side of the screen that is normal that's because the screen is clipped onto the side of it okay so you're gonna show it to you to lift it up just like that just lift it straight up you might need to pry it a little bit on the side but that's how um, to lift up the screen once you lift the screen up, you can remove the entire screen okay at this point here I'm just gonna put the screen here on the side here you can see the entire internal part of the computer you have two RAM slot the first one is already used you can add additional RAM this runs on a DDR4 you can see it says PC4. This is a DDR4 RAM. The first slot, you just got to slide it in at 45 degree angle. Push right in the middle and you can 
here that the clicker the clicker we're gonna lock in and hold on to the RAM you can add additional RAM get another DDR4 RAM here slide it in push it down now you have increased the RAM on your computer all right if you're not sure where to buy the RAM or the hard drive or anything else like the toolkit please check the link down description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the tools and the, um, the parts for the upgrade let's move on to the next step is to remove this metal cover here what you want to do is unwind the speaker cable get a Phillips screwdriver and remove the screws there are three tiny screws here on the top and there are two bigger screws here at the bottom I'm looking for my screwdriver Once you have removed the two screws, one on this side and one on that side, I just want to point it out to you, there's a USB receiver here, which HP comes with the keyboard and mouse, so the thing was installed in this position, you just have to remove the USB Wi-Fi receiver in order for you to remove this metal bracket. Okay, once you have removed this cover, you can see that the CMOS battery is right here as well as the M.2 SSD drive. This is the hard drive where it stores all your information. It's right here at the bottom center. Go ahead and remove that screw and you can slide that hard drive to your left. And at this point here, if you're trying to recover the data, uh, what I recommend to do is to get one of these USB NVMe M.2 adapter and uh, I'll show it to you okay so this is the uh, USB M.2 SSD adapter what you can do is to slide it in put the screw here to hold that M.2 and go ahead and plug into a different computer and this would act like a USB flash drive where you can access your data all right so that's pretty much it the screen is all by itself that is the motherboard the cpu is here built in you need to remove the four screws remove all the screws for the fan and the entire heatsink will just come right off okay and that is the uh, cpu fan the motherboard is here the speaker is on left and right that's pretty much it i wanted to show it to you on how to do some of the upgrades or remove the hard drive to recover your data if the computer died or the screen replacement to remove the entire screen I hope this video is helpful if you do find this video is, is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for doing that and um, if you do find this video is helpful you want to support the work that I do and the channel please go ahead and smash not smash but to click on the YouTube super thanks YouTube super thanks allow you to share your gratitude to support the work that I do and I really appreciate you for that and again um, just want to point it out if you have any question comment down below I do reach a comment and I'll guide you and answer all your questions down in the comments below okay so one of oh yeah I forgot to point out this is the uh, um, the NIC NIC which is network interface card and this NIC is the one that holds down the Wi-Fi and they have two cables here connects to the top of the, uh, the computer for the Wi-Fi antenna
Okay, so thanks for watching. Until next time, please take care and bye now.